Hello. Today I'm going to be looking at Ace Physics Syllabus Code 9702, Paper 13, from May-June 2018. <clears throat> Question number 23 is about the Doppler effect. It reads, A police car travels at a velocity of 30 meters per second, directly towards a stationary observer. The horn of the car emits sound of frequency 2,000 hertz. The speed of sound is 340 meters per second. What is the frequency of the sound heard by the observer? One of the important things to keep in mind here is that you do, as a student sitting for um, papers one and two, you have access to this list of formula. So you have underlined here the relevant equation, the Doppler effect. And so knowing that the observed frequency is equal to the frequency of the source times the velocity of the wave, divided by the velocity of the wave plus or minus the velocity of the source, we can calculate how the frequency changes based on the relative motion of um, the source of a wave. So in the question at hand here, we've got a police car traveling at a velocity of 30 meters per second. So that's the velocity of the source. Right? It's the source of the sound is moving itself at 30 meters per second. The velocity of the wave, it's a sound wave, and so V is the speed of sound, 340 meters per second. The car emits sound of frequency 2,000 hertz, and so that's the frequency of the source. If you were right there you know, with the um, horn of the car, it would sound 2,000 hertz. Now, because the car is speeding towards the observer, we have to subtract in the denominator here. The plus or minus in the denominator is dependent upon whether the uh, observer and the source are moving towards each other or away from each other. When something is speeding towards you, you're gonna hear that sound at a higher pitch we can just think about the Doppler effect intuitively as like the, the, the sound of an engine passing by you. Meow. The ee part of meow is a higher pitch. It's all of the waves getting squashed together uh, as they're approaching your ear. And so we hear the sound of the engine at a higher pitch. To get the observed frequency higher than the frequency of the source, the denominator has to be smaller, so we subtract here. If the car is speeding away from us, you know, that's a lower pitch, right? And so in order to get the frequency observed to become lower, then the denominator must be higher. And so we add in the denominator when the observer and the source are moving away from each other. And so we can just kind of think about, um, I think the, the easiest way to make sense of it is with the example I just gave to kind of just remember that when things speed towards you, they sound higher pitch and so the frequency must get higher. The way to achieve that mathematically is to subtract in the denominator here. And when things are speeding away from each other, we just know that's the meow, the lower pitch part of the meow Doppler effect. And so in order to achieve that mathematically, you know, we've got to add in the denominator. So. Feel free to use that if that's helpful. Or you could just commit it to memory. You know, when things move away, we add. When things move towards, we subtract. And so because this is moving directly towards the stationary observer, we're going to subtract. So remember that the equation is that the observed frequency is equal to the frequency of the source times the velocity of the wave divided by the velocity of the wave. And in this case, directly towards means we're subtracting the velocity of the source in the denominator. I can substitute in values from the problem. 2000 hertz is the frequency of the source times 340 meters per second is the velocity of the wave divided by the velocity of the wave minus the velocity of the source. You can see here the units, um, meters per second, are going to cancel out. We're going to be left with hertz, and so we're going to solve for frequency. 2,000 times 340 divided by 
340 minus 30 is 310. So we got 2,193 hertz, which is pretty close to choice D.